Now that the projector is ready to be used, let's go over some of the features so you can get the most out of your Brightling projector. We're going to start with the remote. On the remote, you'll see a blue button. This is for powering the projector on and off. The image source can be selected using the upper buttons on the remote. There is a button for a computer, which would be for a VGA connection, video for DVD or Blu-ray player, and USB for perhaps a document camera. And when you select the source, it will switch to that source for you. In this case, I press HDMI, so had I had a DVD player attached, I could be playing a movie. And then when I'm done, I would hit the computer, which will return me to the content from my computer. Use the menu button to access all the settings within the projector. In this case, I press menu. I'm going down to extended menu. I'm selecting display. And there I can make changes to different things that are in my menu. In this case, I will turn off the projector control that is located at the bottom of the projector. I make the settings changes and then I hit escape to get out of the menu. Auto calibrate the Brightline projector by using the user button on the remote. I press user, it asks me if I would like to calibrate. I select yes. This starts the calibration process. You don't need to be attached to a PC in order to calibrate. You can calibrate with just the projector being on like I'm doing here. It's going to go through a series of screens. It takes about 15 seconds in total and then the projector will be calibrated. This is the calibration for the pen. When I'm done calibrating, my image comes back, and at this point I'd be re ready to use my interactive pens. The AV mute button can turn off the image and the sound of the projector without turning off the projector. You can also use a freeze button to freeze the projected image. In a Windows environment, there's no need to install a driver. Just attach your USB cable and you're ready to go. For using a Macintosh, you must inst install the Easy Interactive Driver before using. When using the Brightlink projector, you need interactive software. If you have your own, that is fine, but if you don't, Brightlink ships with easy interactive tools included in the box. If you don't have a copy of the software, you can go to Epson.com to download. Once the software is installed, we can use all the interactive capabilities of the projector. One of the advantages of this new Epson interactive projector line is that they work on almost any surface. A whiteboard is not needed. You can write onto a plain wall. 